math gap guys welcome to today's video in which we're going to be talking about how to find distances between two points in the number line we're going to be doing some subtractions we're going to be doing problems with integers problems with decimals and a problem with real life situations guys before we begin the video it's really useful and very helpful for the channel to grow that you guys subscribe and leave a like and a comment that way i know that you guys understand the videos and you are helping the channel grow I cannot do this without you guys, so let's begin. Oh my god. Hello guys and welcome to today's video in which we're going to be talking about how to calculate distances in the number line. So, let's begin. Let's say you have a point A in minus 4 and another point B on 2. These two numbers are located in the number line, as you can see in the image. Do you know how to calculate the distance between these two points, A and B? Today, we're going to be learning about that. We're going to be learning about how to calculate this distance. So, what is the distance between point A in minus 4 and point B in 2? Okay, so we have point A, and we're going to locate it in the number line. And we have point B, and we're also going to locate it in the number line. So again, remember, minus 4 is to the left of 0, and point B, which is 2, is to the right of 0. So the first thing we have to do is that we have point A, which is minus 4, and we have point B, which is plus 2. In order to calculate the distance, we're going to find out the absolute value of point A minus point B, right? So in this case, we have point A, which is minus 4, and we're going to subtract point B, which is 2. We have to remember the rules of the signs, guys. So this negative is always going to change the number inside the parentheses to its opposite. So minus 4 minus positive 2 is going to be minus 4 minus 2. And that is going to be the absolute value of minus 6. And what is the absolute value of minus 6? Remember that the absolute value of two numbers is always going to be positive. So that means that the absolute value is plus 6. That means that the distance between point A and point B is going to be plus 6. Another way you can do this using the number line is to count the amount of steps that it takes you to go from point A to point B. So let's try it together. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So when you compare these two answers, you're going to see that both answers are the same. But what if you didn't want to subtract A minus B? Let's say you wanted to subtract B minus A. Will it still give us 6? Let's try it. So, in order to calculate a distance, we just saw that we just have to subtract point A minus point B. But since it's the absolute value, that means that we can also subtract B minus A. And it's going to be the same answer. Let's try that one for a change. So, B minus A. The absolute value of B minus A is B which is 2, minus, and then the value of a, which is minus 4. Now, guys, remember, any time you have a negative outside a parenthesis, you have to remember to change the sign of whatever number you have there to its opposite. So that's 2, and then minus by minus, it's going to be plus 4. And you know that 2 plus 4 is going to be equal to 6, and the absolute value of 6 is also 6. Again, remember that this number is the amount of spaces that it takes to go from point A to point B. So you can also use the number line to do that. But you can always count on the formula where you have to subtract one point minus the other and then take the absolute value of that. What about if we had another point? So let's say we had a point a minus 3.75 and a point B at 4.42. Do 
So let's say we have a number A located in minus 3.75 and point B located in point 4.42. So again, A is located on the left of 0 because it's negative and B on the right side. So again, A is in minus 3.75, so we do that, and B is in 4.42. So in order to find the distance, remember, we have to subtract A minus B, or we can do B minus A. It really doesn't matter because we're going to take the absolute value out of that. So let's try it. A is minus 3.75, and then we're going to subtract the value of B, which is positive 4.42. Then minus 3.75 then this negative by this positive is going to be negative 4.42 and then we have that is minus 8.17 because you have to remember these two numbers are negative so the answer is going to be negative and because they have the same sign you just have to add them so 3.75 and minus 4.42 is going to be minus 8.17 and the absolute value of that is going to be 8. 17 right so how do we do that using the number line we can actually count the spaces so from point a in minus 3.75 to minus 3 is going to be a distance of 0 0.75 and then from minus 3 to 2 we count in ones 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and we have 0 0.42 in that last step. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So it's 7 whole steps plus the first one, which is 0 0.75 plus 0 0.42. So that's 7 plus 0.75 plus 0 0.42 is 1.17 and then we when we add 7 plus 1.17 is going to give us 8.17 so guys you can use the number line or you can use the formula whatever works for you just remember that you can be consistent and that is the key to solving these problems okay let's try a new problem so let's say we have point a which is in 10.7 and we have point B, which is in 400.8. So point B is a little complicated to put on the number line because it's a very big number. So we can, we can just apply the formula. So B minus A is going to be 400.8 minus 10.7. And that, we're going to take the absolute value out of it. So 400.8 minus 10.7 is going to be 390.1. So that's the answer, guys. The distance between these two points is of 390.1. And you can do it with any single numbers or points that you work with in the number line. So let's try a problem for a change. So the problem says, Karis went snorkeling on vacation. While she was diving two feet below sea level, she was able to spot her favorite fish from her favorite movie 4.5 feet below sea level. What was the difference between Karis and the fish? Okay, so first of all, we have to remember we have the sea level, and that's going to be at zero. Then we know that two feet below sea level, we had our friend Karis. And 4.5 feet below, she had the fish from her favorite movie. Right? So we're going to put an F here. And now we're going to find the distance. We actually want to find the distance between Karis and the fish. How do we do that? Well, we apply the same thing. So Karis minus the fish or fish minus Karis. The answer is going to be the same one. So let's try the second one for a change. So fish minus the position of caries. So the position of the fish is minus 4.5 because it's 
4.5 below sea level. And then we're going to subtract Caris's initial location, which is in minus 2. So again, we have minus 4.5. And then this negative changes the negative inside to this opposite, so plus 2. And then it's going to be the absolute value of, and then because they have different signs, we have to subtract them and put the value of the highest one, the sign. So it's minus 2.5. And then the answer is going to be 2.5 feet. And that is the distance between Caris and the fish from her favorite movie. So that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Feel free to replay and rewatch every single part of this video. If you find it useful, please leave a like and a comment. And don't forget to subscribe. So see you on the next one. Bye, guys. Check out these other videos to improve your math skills and make sure you click that subscribe button to make the community grow. Follow Omath God in its social media accounts, drop a like, a comment below, and see you on the next one. Bye!